Welcome back to Bella Boo's lunches, or if you're new, welcome. Here are our lunches for today. This one is Bella's, this one is mine. So we have basically the same thing, so I just wanted to kind of show you what we had. Bella, is he looking in the window? Our neighbor? Oh, he likes to look in here when he walks by. Anyway, uh, Bella is getting some sugar snap peas that we got in Wisconsin. I believe the name of the farm was, was it Glendale Farms? Yeah, Glendale. Oh my gosh, so delicious. She's also having some strawberries that she picked herself while we were at Glendale Farms. I'll insert clips if I have any. And then here is her sandwich. So she is getting a thin sandwich thin, and it has tomatoes, black olives, salt, pepper, mustard, mayo, turkey, lettuce, and red onion. And I think that's it. And then I am getting the exact same thing, only I'm having cantaloupe, and I'm also having some bread and butter pickles. Did you like these pickles? Did you want one? No. I try them. She'll try them and she'll see if she wants them. So I'm having the peas too. And then my sandwich is the exact same as Bella's. So here's what we're going to eat today. What did you guys have? And Bella has hiccups. Did they scare you? Yes, it's scary. <laughs> we'll see if she got rid of her hiccups. <laughs> anyway, this is our lunch. What did you have? So this is what I'm making for my supper tonight. I just did some Colby Jack cheese. This is the cheese I bought. And the flour tortilla that I picked up were just high V generic brand, family value pack. So I'm just making one. I'm gonna fold it in half once it's all melted, and you know cut it up. But if I want another one, I did hold out enough for making an additional uh, quesadilla. Did I say I was making a quesadilla? So this is what it looks like to start with. It's just peppers, um, green peppers red onion, chicken, some taco seasoning mix, and the cheese. So that's it for now. This is what I ended up uh, doing. So I went ahead and made an additional one because two just did not seem like it was gonna fill me up at all. So I'm having uh, like two tortillas and then inside of it is just the same that I showed you before. This is a pico that I just kind of made up tonight and then that is Greek plain yogurt. It tastes like sour cream, so that's what I'm using it for. And then cilantro. So here is what I'm eating for dinner. So here is Bella's next to mine. She is getting a, same thing, quesadilla, sour cream, which is just the Greek plain yogurt, and then some strawberries. So she's not getting the pico at all because there's a jalapeno in it and it's super hot. Before I even get started, which one is bigger? They're both the same size. It just, they look different now that they're on the plate. We are having tostadas. It's just zucchini and like a tzatziki sauce on a tortilla with like a little um, onion and tomato and olive salsa thing on the top. I don't know what you call it. But it's a home chef recreation. So it's a home chef meal that I just made again because I loved it so much. So this is what we are eating for lunch today. Hey guys, this is what I'm making for my late lunch slash dinner. It's actually dinner time right now, never mind. Um, it's just gonna be a chicken salad on crackers. So you need chicken, you can buy it in a can like I do or just take like a chicken breast, which is also delicious. I add uh, sliced water chestnuts to mine, one pickle, uh, about a tablespoon or two of mayo and about half I do like half ranch half mayo so if I'm doing two tablespoons I do one of each and that's probably what I'll end up doing So here is my lunch slash dinner tonight. Bella is gonna attempt to eat one of them. She'll see if she can keep it down. She's had a cracker, 
Um, she might just have crackers <laughs> for dinner, so I might be getting those out for her. Otherwise, this is my meal, and there's still quite a bit of this chicken salad left. So it, this is something you could have for a couple days in a row if you wanted to. Today I am making Bella and my lunch. I am loving these things. Oro wheat, Oro wheat, is that how you pronounce it? Sandwich thins? Um, I like them. So anyways, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna kind of move this over so you can see it. Um, we like our sandwiches fully loaded. So what I do is I put mustard on, this is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise on the bottom, mustard on the top. Oh gosh. Anybody else hate when that happens? I do. And then I'm just gonna use the knife that I use to cut everything else. Okay, so Bella's birthday is coming up at the end of August. So I am planning what to do for her party. She has chosen this year to do uh, experience as opposed to a party. So I prefer that too, like making a memory other than just doing a birthday party. So where do you want to go this year, Bella? Great Wolf Lodge. She is wanting to go to Great Wolf Lodge. So they have some really great sales happening right now. So I am trying to plan that and take advantage of that. I'm just waiting for my sister to get back to me and let me know if the date works because she's going to bring her cousin along with. So hopefully she gets back to me soon and the date is still available. Otherwise, I'm going to be pretty sad. I'm going to add just one more titch to both of these. I try to do about, on these thins, you really don't need a lot. So I add about, oh, one to two teaspoons of mayo. Whereas opposed to if I'm making it on a sandwich sandwich, I'd be adding one to two tablespoons of mayo. Anybody else? Like these, you really don't need a lot. Like this is probably more than I even need. And I do a little bit of salt on top of the tomatoes, as well as a little bit of pepper. So we're gonna do Great Wolf Lodge. And that means I am trying to decide like what else we're gonna do with it because you can do like a lot of add-ons at Great Wolf and you really don't need to do a lot because with your stay you get a lot of activities not only do you get like the fun water park but you get this is not sponsored where I'm not working with them on this at all um, they they've sent us there in the past this is why I know it because they did send us there last year. I think it was last June or something. But we're not working with them right now. I'm just letting you know. Uh, so they have tons of activities that happen during the day. So you are you don't really need to add on. What I'm talking about with adding on, like the meals. Now the food there is kind of expensive in my opinion. But I mean you don't leave that place. So once you're there, you're there. You don't need to go out and do anything else. You're going to be fully entertained the entire time so it's kind of fun to go so yeah so I think we're gonna do that and then do just a family party here at home with like her grandma and grandpa and stuff so what do you guys do for your birthdays do you do like fun experiences like that or do you go places take vacations have birthday parties too or do that instead I like to put on three pieces of meat I think it's like the perfect amount we went to um, Black Hills one year for Bella's birthday, and that was a lot of fun. Me and her dad took her there. And then I think our side today is going to be finishing off the peas that we bought, or that we, yeah, that we bought at the farm. And um, that's it. Maybe some strawberries or bananas or something. So anyway, we're starved. This is our lunch. That's our plan for Bella's birthday. Tell me if you have any great ideas. Tell me your, oh, you guys know what? Have any of you been to Great Wolf Lodge lately? I am wondering, did they switch up their pup passes? So Bella really wants to do the build a critter or whatever. It's, it's kind of like build a bear. But last year when we went, it was part of the pup pass. 
And now when I look it up, it doesn't show that it's part of the pup pass. This one's upside down. Doesn't matter. So tell me, if you've been to Great Wolf lately, uh, what was all included in your pup pass? Because, like I said, we were there last June of 2018, and you got to do that build a critter guy. I could call them, but when I called their phone number, I was on hold for uh, a half hour. And I was number 60 in line or something crazy. So I didn't want to wait any longer. But anyway, here's our lunch for today. This is what we're eating. What did you have today? Thanks for watching, you guys. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Have you ever seen a tomato? Here, let me focus it. Growing itself. Growing itself? Evidently, I've had this tomato too long. But it's, like, still fine on the outside. But then look. See, like, this little guy right here poking up? Oh, no. Maybe it's this one over here. But you can see it's like poking up and it's going to start sprouting itself outside of the tomato. Isn't that so strange? Have you ever seen something so weird? Did you know that it was like that? No. I didn't even know tomatoes could do that. But I bought these tomatoes like over a week ago. Anyway, it's sprouting itself. I've never seen something like this. Usually my tomatoes, when they go bad, they get like wrinkly and stuff. Look yeah. at this guy. He's perfectly fine. It's fine. So anyway, I just thought that was weird. Tell me if you've ever done this, seen this. What do you do? I like f feel like I need to just go plant this whole tomato out in the garden. Maybe. Would it grow? Yeah. <gasps> Would it grow if I did that? Let's test it. Let's not. I'm just going to toss it. No, let's test it. <laughs> anyway, that's my weird tomato.